What's up guys, welcome back to Johnny RC. Uh, on today's video, we're gonna be flying the, uh, the Cherokee. Um, Y'all seen RD fly this thing uh, before in the past. We haven't done a lot of prop plane flying lately. Um, we've been really concentrating on the EDFs and trying to get used to the EDFs and we're still learning. I wanna put that out there to everybody that watches this video. Me and RD are still learning EDFs and we're still learning this hobby in every aspect of it. So are we perfect at landings? Are we perfect at takeoffs? Are we perfect at this or that or whatever that, can, that goes with this hobby? No, we're not. We're learning. And the little bit that we do learn, we hope we can pass that along to you guys out there that are, that are novice like we are, or if you're just looking to get into the hobby. Um, there's a lot that goes on in this hobby. We all know that. Uh, for you experienced hobbyists out there and experienced pilots out there, you know that at, at some point you started exactly where we are. Um, you didn't come out of your mother's womb with a radio control in your hand and been like, boom, I'm, you know, Maverick and Top Gun. Uh, no, you started somewhere, and that's what me and RD have done. Me and RD started off with them little Voltex, what are they, 800 millimeters or 500 millimeter, whatever they are, the little bitty thing, 400, 4, 480, I think they are, something like that. I don't know. We started off with those, and then we graduated up, and then in the last year, we've gotten into EDFs, and I think me and RD have really come a long way. Um, we're getting better, but, you know, we crash. We have bouncy landings. We have rough takeoffs. It happens. We have brain farts, and we do stupid junk, and we will continue to do that. I promise you. Um, we're not perfect, and we're not never going to be perfect. Um, so, anyway, that's my little rant for a minute. Um, but in today's video, Dad's got the Cherokee back out. We're getting back into our prop planes a little bit, having some fun with those. So, already on the sticks with the Cherokee. It's a great flying uh, airplane. I think it's 1,500, 1,400 millimeter. It's a great flying bird in the air. It looks good in the air, and already does a great job with it. Um, just kind of breaking the monotony of EDFs, kind of going back and forth, so we can keep our heads straight on what we're what we're doing and what we what we can remember from each uh, individual aspect of the hobby so anyway hope you guys enjoy it we appreciate y'all being here as always please comment down below um what you think of the videos uh don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe here at Jordy rc we really appreciate it and uh, without further ado let's get into the video of the cherokee all right y'all we're here at the flight line today we've got uh some prop planes we already decided we're going to do some Prop flying. We haven't done any prop flying in a while. This is the Cherokee from uh, E Flight. Dad's running a 2600 3S Admiral battery. Uh, has a Spectrum. I don't know. I don't know nothing about Spectrum. But it's got a Spectrum receiver in it down there. Stock receiver. It's a stock one that comes in. It comes in it, right? Yep. Comes in the Cherokee. The Cherokee, this particular one, this is not the new model. Y'all seen this one fly before here on the channel. But um, anyway, it's a great flyer. Artie's had a couple of good flights on it. So we're going to decide for the next couple of weeks, we're going to do some uh, prop flying. I got the Pilatus over there. And Dad's got the Cherokee. So we're going to take it up and see what we can do. Like I said, Admiral 2600, 3S. Get about five minutes out of it, four to five minutes. Good flying little plane. This thing is so sweet in the air looks good very scale no wind me and rd is like what in the world i mean if there's if there's a wind it's two to five maybe a little bit of wind out of the feels like the southwest maybe Take off. You in safe? Yeah. Right. Guys, I'm on. Yeah, I can make over this way a little bit. There you go. Like she's flying pretty good already. A 
little bit of wind. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Looking good. You feel all right? To me, is that it may be the wind chopping it, but it sound like the prop may have a little unbalancing in it, or maybe just the wind. In it. We're so used to the EDS, we've been flying the EDS for months now, and then we got prop planes out, and you're like, What's that sound? <laughs> Looking good so far. Like I said, this is the E-Flight Cherokee. This plane is probably three or four years old, maybe. I guess when it first came out. They have a new version out now. It's blue. I thought about getting it, maybe. Mm. Pretty sporty. You doing five minutes? Oh, yeah, I got two minutes left. Flaps down. Got the flaps down on it. We'll see if what she looks like. It's looking pretty good with the flaps down. Try to keep her in focus here. Oh, yeah, boy. All right. A little bouncy, but it's all right. She, she's home. That's one battery now. We'll check the battery and see what it looks like. All right, let's check the battery. I got my thing in the jig and my... Let me put the camera down for just for a second there, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Let's see what it looks like. Five minute flight. That's crazy. You can go 20 minutes on that dead gum thing. That was a four minute flight. Four minute flight? Yeah. Four minutes, 79% on a 2600. Wow. All right, good deal. Some more Cherokee action. Action injection. It's kind of blowing from my back, ain't it? Uh, yeah, back, back towards, the, back from the hangar area. Almost to that opening right there beside you.
old Cherokee. And I, I ran four minutes on this one a while ago and it was 68%. So all he's gonna do a couple flybys with it and um, just kind of burn that battery down and get some, get some stick time. That's what we gotta do. That's how you get better. It's definitely summertime in South Georgia, I promise you that, and it's hot. It's already getting hot, it ain't even nine o'clock yet. The gnats are terrible. So, you probably can slick her in. Looking good. You can definitely see that wind. Pushing that tail around. Wind's almost in your face now. Yeah. Uh oh. Bad. Yep, that wasn't that wasn't bad at all. Good job. All right, already with the uh, second flight with the Cherokee. The Cherokee. The battery had seventy nine percent left in it. So you can probably get another, at least another flight out of it. Open at them. Gracefully open at them. What do you got it in? Okay. Four minutes. Oh, you'll have to trim it up. I'm gonna have to trim it down. The sun's brutal. Phew. The gnats are too. Thanks the change of the wind too. A while ago it wasn't quite as windy, it like the winds picked up just a hair. It was pushing mine down on the back and level coming down the front here. Nice and slow for the viewers. <laughs> like I said, already's got the 2600 3S in this. We ran four minutes while ago, had 79% left on the battery. Of course, you see, we don't fly fast. We're scale flyers. We don't like all that hole twisting and all that other stuff. We like that right there. We like coming by slow and low and enjoying the model. So, and we do run safe. It's a tool to use to save your, um, your airplane. Man, already spent a lot of money on ours. So we, we want to protect them as much as we can. And, Safe is a good tool to use, and we use it. Two minutes, flaps down. I'll be gonna put her down. Well, she's a floating. She's a floater. <laughs> wow. All right, a lot better. Oh yeah, a lot better. With the old Cherokee. Good flying, good flying little plane. Oh, 1050. <laughs> oh, 
Alright. Uh, hold, hold that while I uh, change the battery. Hold on, let me change the battery. I'm plugging the radio. Good city. Love to walk it while I'm going. Alright, let's see what the battery is now. It was 79%. It just went another, what, three and a half, four minutes? Uh, another three minutes. Okay. Let's see what you got now. 59%. Shit. You can find 10 minutes on that battery over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can. We'll, we'll, we'll call that a used battery. Alright. I don't want to overdo it. Alright, so there it is, the Cherokee. Uh, Y'all seen that, the, that plane before, or at least flown it? Um, probably half a dozen times here on the channel in the past so go back and look at those videos uh the cherokee or any of any of the any other of our videos uh we appreciate y'all we really do i can't say that enough i can't stress that enough to each and every one of you out there that's part of this journey with me and rd here at jardy rc we're having a good time we're learning we're crashing we're fixing them we're buying new stuff we're fixing old stuff we're doing all kinds of stuff and we're having a good time with it. And I hope you guys enjoy the content that we're bringing. Um, please comment down below what you think, what you wanna see. Um, if y'all have not watched the latest hangar time, it's about an hour long, but go check it out. Uh, about a week, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I think it came out. Go check out hangar time. Tell me what you think about hangar time. Uh, if you wanna see some more hangar time. So um, comment down below and tell me what you think. And um, as always, we appreciate it. I, I, I can't I can't stress that enough. I've said it two or three times in this video already. Don't forget to go check out Hobby0127, link in the description below, uh, where I do a lot of my modeling. I'm doing all kinds of models as far as uh, aircraft, and I'm even gotten into the armor. You can see some tanks back here in the back. I've kind of gotten that, got into that a little bit. Uh, have a lot of fun with that that's fun and also uh 1016 fishing which is my fishing channel my outdoor channel basically i do a little bit of everything over there fishing hunting do a little cooking just a jack of all trades i guess but anyway go check it out we appreciate it we will see you guys on the next video keep flying and god bless